Police down the dog that allegedly mauled a woman and killed a smaller dog in San Francisco last month. As KTVU's Patty Lee reports, the owners have since sent their dog to obedience training. This is right where everything happened. Kim Ferguson relives the moment she was mauled and her 12-pound dog Dijon killed. I was frightened for my life and I was screaming and um, I couldn't believe it was happening. After the February attack, Ferguson launched a neighborhood campaign to find the 90-pound dog in this photograph. Her fight profiled on KTVU Sunday night. A day later, Officer Sherry Hicks received a tip that led her to the owners. They said that they didn't know that the dog had actually died. But the larger dog seen in this family photograph was nowhere to be found. Shortly after that attack, the owners sent their dog away to obedience training in Gilroy. The owners did not want to talk on camera, but wanted to explain they recognized their pet had some aggression issues, but they weren't trying to hide him from authorities. I just wanted to know how horrible I feel and my heart goes out to her. The owners have been cited for failing to leash their dog and for failing to exchange information after the attack. Exchange of information should have occurred. The similar to a hit and run car accident. Today, San Francisco police typed up an order requesting the dog's owners to turn him in ahead of their hearing in two weeks. I prefer to have the dog in custody, especially a dog that has done something like this. Officer John Denny says that since 2001, after San Francisco resident Diane Whipple was killed by dogs with a history of aggression, the department doesn't take chances. In San Francisco, Patty Lee, KTVU, Channel 2 News.